everybody. Today we have a, a question that I think uh, most people, um, were they to see it on a test, and I think that many people have seen very similar questions on the official SAT. Were they to see this on a test, they would just be like, I have no idea, and they would just give up. Um, in fact, though, there's, there's a very, very simple and very straightforward and very fast way of solving questions like this. But um, they require us to become experts at making regressions in Desmos. And regressions are just a fancy way of saying a model, essentially. So um, let's go ahead and read out this question and then see how we can solve it in Desmos. So if q of x passes to the points negative 27, 3, and 21, 5, and q of x is equal to 4x squared plus bx with c over x plus 3 times x minus 4, and q of v is 0, then what is the value of v? So what I would do to solve this question is I would come to Desmos, I would insert a table, and in that table I would input these points, negative 27, 3, and 21, 5. And then with that, I would go ahead and um, put in the regression in a very similar format to the way that they, uh, that they presented it in the question. I think I remember that correctly. Let's just double check. So it's plus three and minus four. All right. So what we can see from here then is that this is going to cross the x-axis here right at negative nine. And so in this question here, they ask, what is the value of v if q of v is equal to zero? So this equals zero would indicate that it's at the... Um, at the x-axis, because it's y equals zero, right? And so we get negative nine then as the correct answer. Yeah.